Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. Do scraps of bread mean anything to the Lord who gives us our daily bread? The Gospel of the day is about five loaves of bread and twelve baskets of leftovers. Jesus' love and compassion impels him to multiply bread to feed a multitude. As we are amazed by this miraculous deed, Jesus amazes us even further by asking the disciples to collect the scraps of bread left over, the crowd having eaten to their heart's content. In a world where vanity is the norm, this response of Jesus could be shocking to many. After the plenty, he wants the leftover bread to be collected and refuses to be a bread king, a miracle worker, even when the crowd wants to make him one. This response of our Lord is not a one-off event. Elsewhere, when he multiplied bread to feed 4,000 people, he asked his disciples to collect the leftover scraps seven baskets full. How is it that we remember the multiplication of bread and conveniently forget the master's instruction to collect the leftovers? The compassionate and rich Lord is teaching us how to handle the goods and riches that God has given to each one of us in his benevolence. He wants us to give to those in need without hesitation and yet be careful and respectful with anything and everything at our disposal, even the so-called leftovers. Even as we enjoy plenty, we are not to waste the resources of nature. We should avoid all vain show, both spiritual and material. Respecting the gift is respecting the giver itself, being grateful for our daily bread. Then, and only then, shall we truly be able to join Jesus as we pray. Lord, give us this day our daily bread. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. See you.